So far in this class, we've talked about basic probabilities. We have talked about the process of statistics and collecting data along with all the important vocabulary. And we've talked about appropriate ways of displaying the data, either in tables or graphs, and how the graphs can be misleading. Now we're going to start talking about descriptive statistics, which are numerical measures that describe data. And we're going to start with talking about central tendency. So measures of central tendency are just different measures of the middle of a data set. So a measure of central tendency numerically describes the typical data value. And by typical, we mean <clears throat> sort of the middle. The three most widely used measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. Now frequently, people use the word average to describe the mean. And if I say average during the course of the rest of the semester, I will mean the mean. But sometimes it can also be used to describe the median or the mode. So we really need to be careful about when we hear the word average to determine exactly what they mean. But most of the time, average, is the same thing as mean. So how do we calculate the mean? Now technically what we're calculating is an arithmetic mean. There are also other types of means, but we don't deal with those in this course. And we'll just call it the regular old mean. We don't bother with the arithmetic. Or, as I said, we'll call it the average in this class. So the arithmetic mean of a variable is found by adding all the data values together in the data set and dividing by the number of observations. The mean of the population is denoted using the Greek letter mu. That's M-U. And it looks like a cursive U, sort of. And that's computed using all the individuals in the population, which, remember, makes it a parameter, because parameters are numerical descriptions of a population. The sample mean, on the other hand, we denote x bar. So that's x with a line over it, and we read that x bar. And that's computed using the sample data, which makes it a statistic. Remember, statistics are numerical measurements of a sample. So to find the mean, the data must be quantitative. We cannot find the mean for categorical data. So we generally use Greek letters to represent parameters. And we use Roman 
which those are our normal letters, to represent statistics. So, the equations for finding the mean are given in this table below. So, we have to be aware of some notation. X1, X2, all the way up to X sub N, or X sub little, lowercase or capital, are the data values. N, capital N is the population size, and lowercase n is the sample size. So don't be scared by the subscripts on these x's. All they mean is that they're all different values. So x1 is the first data value, x2 is the second data value, and so on. So the population mean is given by x1 plus x2 plus we keep going all the way up to X sub capital N, and we divide that by capital N. And remember, capital N is just the population size. So X bar, the sample mean, is X1 plus X2 plus, and it keeps going all the way up to x sub n, which is just the last data value in our sample, and we divide that by lowercase n, the sample size. So let's find the mean of five randomly selected numbers, and we're going to do this by hand using the formula. And in this case, we should assume that this is a sample because there are lots more numbers than the five we've selected here. So how do we do this? Well, X bar is, we take each data value, so 25 plus 23 plus 34 plus 32 plus 36, and we divide that all by 1, 2, 3, 4, there are five of them, so we divide by five. Now we just put that in the calculator. So I'm going over here to the calculator screen on the right. We have 25 plus 23 plus 34 plus 32 plus 36. So our numerator, the number in the top, is 150, and we're dividing that by 5. And so if we go back to the calculator, we hit divide, and that, you see where it says ANS, that means it's taken the 150, and it's going to divide it by 5 now. So our mean for this sample of numbers is 30. We'll stop this video here and we'll go talk about the median starting in the next video.